Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing some more seed saving. Uh, we're going to be doing some foxglove today and I want to show you uh, what the pods look like, what you need to be looking for, when to harvest them and so on. I've got a huge obsession with seed saving now and you know I've had a lot of things around here over the years that's always seeded and I think it's a great hobby for those of you that are looking for some things to do outdoors, have your kids come out with you and show them why you save seeds and just kind of get them involved because I think it's really important. So I do, I'm doing it a lot on my flowers right now, but I also in the future will be doing some vegetables. But I didn't isolate some of them this year so I wasn't able to save the seed. But a lot of these flowers, not a problem, they ain't going to do any crossing and I will be saving seeds and then sharing them with you guys along the way. I hope you enjoy. Inside those dry pods are the foxglove seeds. Very tiny. Not sure there's even any in there. But some of these pods have seed in them yet and I'll be collecting them today. Look at all the seed pods. This is of the perennial foxglove, the yellow grandiflora. Comes back every year for me here, but I thought I'd collect some seeds this year. We'll see what we get. see any seeds in there? I think that's about as close as I can get. But it does give you an idea what you should be looking for with foxglove. And these are also called digitalis. There's another name for them. One thing I like about these seed pods is that the pod opens from the top and then splits down the side but in the same time it's holding the seeds in time for me to harvest. Some have fell into the ground already, but I will be able to get enough here to have some to save over and to share. This is a shade perennial in our area. It actually likes, it'll take morning sun, but it doesn't like the heat of the day. Uh, it does good in my woodland grove, and it's a very unique plant. I'll show you a picture of my fox globe right now. So you always know when to collect your seeds when you know the pods are turning a tannish brown. As you can see, these guys have actually been, I've been able to collect them several weeks ago, but there's still some seeds in there, so I'm gonna be getting some more. And just know that that's the perfect time to collect them is when the seed pods are actually starting to split open and the pods are a tannish brown good time to collect them and get them put away, stored away, indoors, in a cool, dark area. I normally would have trimmed this plant off right after it was done flowering, but this year I left it go. And there's oodles and oodles of little, little seeds. Uh, they are just, just loaded with them right now. Just take them and get it against the plate. Let them fall. Very easy. You can also pick them off. It's whatever you want to do. There's no rules here. Pick them off there and there's some falling. And then you can also, yeah, break them off. And like I said, you can just store this section, this stem section with the seed pods. Store them in a baggie if you want. It works too. That one's all done. Getting a few more, but I got a lot saved already, so I have a lot put away if I want to grow some this next winter. As you can see, I got a few more, and I have a lot more indoors 
that I put in baggies. Just wanted to show you there's different ways of saving seed. Just make sure everything's dry, store it away in a cool, dark area, and then bring them out when you're ready to start them from seed. Come here, Precious. Precious had to come and see what I was doing. As soon as I talk out here, there she is. Look at her. If I can get her to look at you. Hey, Precious, come here. Isn't she beautiful? She's a really pretty color. <laughs> she's the one that got her foot stepped on when she was little, so she's got a little lamp, but she's still very special of a kitty. Precious. All right, guys, just wanted to share it. Helper here, precious. So how many I'm getting? Really tiny, aren't they? Well, she had to come up here by me. <laughs> She's loving this attention. Look at her. Oh, special. So this just will be another seed saving video on my foxglove hope you enjoyed it and just know that if you look outside in the fall lots of things right now are going to seed and it's really fun to go out venture out to collect some seeds for sharing with your friends your family and just anybody that's into gardening the gift of giving seeds is one of the most wonderful things you can do but I'm going to be collecting more of this today and I'll have plenty uh, probably be checking the germ on some of them to make sure that they work out and you guys I hope you enjoy this video again this is the foxglove grandiflora yellow it's a yellow one comes back every year here for me in my area a lot of the foxgloves are a biennial and some don't winter here in our area but this one does pretty well take care guys see you later